Hello, Magic Community on YouTube. I'm T1 Glistener Elf, here with a quick channel announcement video for you. Uh, while I'm talking, though, you'll be able to watch a game against my good friend Devin, who, I feel I have to say, is, in all likelihood, um, the best Magic player that I've personally had the pleasure of dueling. Um, feel free to pay special attention to the match, because I'll be giving you a sneak preview, wow, that's, that's blurry, uh, of a deck that's soon to come, you see. Um, but firstly, the good news. As you can see in this video, uh, this overlaid video, I've been talking about starting, wow, my hair, dude, it is so much shorter. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I've been talking about starting my own game, uh, for quite some time, actually, my own card game. And, uh... I think that I mentioned back then, I'll tell you again now, and I won't say too, too much about it, I'm just gonna let a little bit of hype build is all, um, but I think that I mentioned that the main gimmick of this card game is that players take all of their actions at the same time, and for the longest time I had been thinking that this was going to be a game uh, that would be a, a, tr a physical game, an actual trading card game, with like Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh, or actually those both have online versions. Um, what, like, Pokemon has an online version? What I'm saying is like an a just a tangible game. The decision that I've made recently is that it's actually going to instead be an online game. It makes taking simultaneous actions much, much easier. Um, I'll give you a lot more information about this later. Right now, it's not so prepared that all the cards for the base set have been designed, and I've even started designing another expansion, but right now I'm looking for investors, I'm looking for, uh, I'm crafting my, uh, my business plan so that I can, you know, seek investors so that I can seek a loan or something as such. Uh, to actually get this off the ground. There isn't a Kickstarter yet, there isn't a crowdfund or anything like that. Um, because we aren't quite that far along in the process, I don't even have any any graphics for you or alpha or anything like that. Uh, I will say this much though, uh, just to give you a teeny tiny little taste. Ooh, that alliteration. Um, I will say that in addition to taking actions at the same time, uh, one thing that I like to do is I like to make uh, your, I'm going to say, spells for the purpose of this, although that's certainly, what's a better analogy? Um, I guess it's more like, if you can think in terms of, of magic, it's a sorcery that then becomes a creature, or if you think in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh, it's a normal spell that becomes a monster, something like that. Uh, what, you, what you would play has two different casting costs. One is just the base, and then if you pay extra, you turn it into essentially a creature. Um, beyond that, the flavor of the game is that everyone is a psychic, you know, and, and that sort of fits the mechanics. You're having to read your opponent's mind, in a way, because you're uh, playing all of your actions at the same time. You're trying to read what they're doing as they're trying to do the same thing to you. So I like how the lore can fit the mechanic. Uh, but beyond that, I haven't gotten it too, too terribly in depth. I will say that all of the characters that I've come up with so far are based on people that I know in real life, and no, I'm not the main character. I'm not even sure I'm going to be in the game. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make a Mary Sue. Um, one thing that I would like to do if I start a Kickstarter for this is uh, if you give a certain amount, you can have yourself inserted into the story as one of the characters, or to fit the uh, the flavor of the cards being uh, creatures and non-creatures based on the casting cost, uh, all of the arts for this, for cards that can turn into creatures, I'm going to they're manifest in the game, but we're just going to say creatures for the time being. It's just easier uh, for us all to remember right now. Um, all of those arts will actually have a hidden image in them, and if you cast it normally, then you just get the full art. If you cast it for the extra cost to turn it into a creature, uh, then it actually zooms in on the creature. Uh, whether it's a person, or an animal, or whatever the case may be, it's whatever that, that thought, that, you know, whatever we're calling these spells, I suppose, in this game, uh, it's whatever that manifests itself as being in your mind. Um, 
Anyway, that would be a, a nice thing to, to get everyone engaged, I think. You, know, you can be on this card for just four easy payments of, nah, whatever. Alright, uh, now the not-so-good news. As many of you know, I'm not exactly in the best of financial straits, uh, I'm afraid. I haven't mentioned anything about my Patreon in the match videos, or even like, comment, subscribe, nothing like that, at the end of any, because I really want those match videos to be solely about the gameplay, just having a good time hanging out, trying out rogue decks, and spreading the love, and by love, of course, I mean poison counters. Um, <laughs> That being said, if you've ever wondered why there was such a long lull in my upload schedule lately, it's because I recently was hired for a new job. I work in a call center and uh, spent my time training rather than making new videos. Uh, that means recording and editing. Unfortunately, I don't expect that that trend's going to change very much, and I apologize in advance. Uh, fortunately, the job is very flexible hours, both in terms of which specific hours I take and the number of hours that I take, so this means a number of things for the channel. Firstly, I'll try my absolute best, promise, to get hours that allow me to record and edit, but I might not be able to do so every week. Um, secondly, the more that YouTube and Patreon are able to supplement my income, uh, the fewer hours that I have to take at, uh, at my job, and the more that I can instead dedicate to the channel. And like I said, you know, this game, this designing this game is not the other job. It's, I work in a call center. Um, I, th that job is going to have to come before both the new game and the YouTube channel. Uh, I don't expect that I'll ever be able to make enough money from YouTube to turn it into a full-time job, but if that somehow happened to be the case, then you'd probably get about 12 matches a week from me, and the way that I come to that number is four at every uh, FNM style event at my LGS, three times a week, so not every, but three times a week, so like two modern and a standard, for instance, uh, plus deck techs and random videos. I'm saying all of this for two reasons. Firstly, if I don't upload as frequently as before, I really hope that you'll understand. Uh, secondly, I really love making content for all of you, and if there's even a chance that I can do that for a living, I'd like to at least make it, or make that reality a chance. Or make it, or how, what am I trying to say? <laughs> give that, give a chance for that reality to become, you know what, screw it, <laughs> screw it. I like for there to be a, a chance for that to come to reality. And, uh, that's about it. I don't think that I'm going to think of enough to say to fill the rest of this match, but what do you know, we're actually just about at the right time. That's, that's pretty lucky. Uh, but don't worry, uh, I'll tell you what you miss. I'm pretty sure that he beats me in every other game that we play that night, so you don't get the whole match, but spoiler alert, or not, uh, he beats me after this. Uh, like I said, he is a really good player. And I really like that I'm going to be able to use this as my call center voice. This. You know, I, I like my voice anyway. Of course I do. I'm on YouTube. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this. I appreciate it. Uh, put in the comments if you can figure out what that deck is, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.